my hat off. I just woke up, man. What's so my hair gonna look like off? If I've been making whoopee or something. Ooh, we got the hair in there? Maybe not. Okay. This is gonna be day... What is today? Today's day five. Day five of 30 days of Gimpy. Oh my so this is what I call a comic book and a dirty joke. So you see, that ain't enough. That ain't enough slushy. Okay, so we know how this motherfucker goes. Let's get started. Get the kids out of the motherfucking room and let's do this shit. Sorry, guys. Like I said in my last video, maybe my drinking years is coming to a, 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 an end. Maybe when I stop drinking, Gimpy's videos would be a little normal. Okay, let's fucking... If you watch my other joke videos, these are actually filming the same night, so. <coughs> okay. Uh, let's show a stack of these. Here's Green Lantern. Six sensational stories, secrets of Green Lantern. This is number, I said number four, okay. Look at the back. Did Hal Jordan become Green Lantern? The planet of doomed men? Is Hector Hammond a mental madman? Learning his origin in one. Right. Oh, is Hector Hammond a mental madman? Man, learn his origin in the power ring that vanished. <laughs> is Green Lantern is Green his girlfriend his deadliest enemy revealed? Usually your girlfriend's your deadliest enemy, so why are superheroes no different? The secret life of Starfire, which is his girlfriend. Where will Green Lantern be when his power ring runs out of energy? Witness zero hour in the silent city. When will Green Lantern's brother learn his secret identity? Meet me, the two grand Green Lanterns in the family. Oh fuck! Thanksgiving's all fucked up. Past the lantern, bitch. What is the mystery of Green Lantern's masters? Thrill to the secret origin of the Guardians. Plus, Green Lantern's Rogue's Gallery. De oh, I love this. Detective Comics. Stop! There have been 11 crimes coming to here. Can you match wits with all these super sleuths to solve them? These super sluts? These are all super sluts, except for Robin. He's too young. Oh, there's the back. That was... Number 30. <laughs> Secret origins of supervillains. <sighs> okay. Maybe I shouldn't read these. You guys don't give a fuck. You can read them. I gotta do is <laughs> pause them. <laughs> oh, fuck. I had some bad donkey for dinner. Supergirl, I love this one. That's awesome. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Um, six Starlander Adventures highlights a Supergirl's career as Linda Lee at Midville Orphanage, Midvale, the Great Supergirl Mirage. As Linda Danvers and well, I said I wasn't gonna read these. Okay, there you go. So. Oh, this one's cool. Oh, yeah, this is cool. The year's best comic stories. They did these. This is 19... 1852. 1979. Top 10 stories. And the winners are... And these are cool because they go through that year. Now if they did this... They'd scrape the bottom of the barrel. So they took the top 10 best comics of DC that year and they put them in one little digest. Like I said, yeah, see, oh, fucking goddamn, look at Batman back then. That's some fucking great shit. So that's number five. And here's strange sports stories superheroes versus supervillains, play ball! Nine action thrillers. The strangest sportsman stories ever told. Gridiron Nightmare. Volleyball of Death. I don't see any superheroes at all. So, okay. So, anyways, folks, that's that. Let's get on to the jokes. Okay, YouTube. I had to film this again because I was a little drunk. I did all three of those, uh, jokes in one night drinking shots of vodka so I just snipped off the front kept it and we'll redo the joke so here we go hi Gippy's looking out the window so a little bit of light coming in back here anyways I've I guess I've offended some of you because I've been losing subscribers if you can't handle handle a dirty joke I'm sorry I'm gonna let you know now these are gonna get pretty bad so if you're easily offended just <laughs> do yourself a favor and don't watch or go ahead and Get rid of me now, because I'm telling you. I don't make any apologies. It's a dirty joke. Come on now. Relax. So anyways, there's this uh, whorehouse, and this uh, little boy comes walking up with the st string in his hand, dragging a flattened dead frog, and uh, knocks on the door, and the uh, door swings open. It's the madam. She looks down at the little boy, and she's like, what do you want? He's like, I'd like to get me a whore. She's like, wow, Okay. How old are you? Like, 10. He's like, okay. He's like, but I got money. And she thinks, he's like, well, it's tough times, and, you know, we could use the money, so. So he's like, any of your whores got diseases? And she's like, no, we're all clean as a whistle, you know. We're all checked out here. And he's like, what about Mary? I heard Mary's got some diseases. She just gave it to a couple people in town. And she's like, well, I can't speak for Mary, but, yeah, I think you might be right. He's like, well, I want Mary. And she's like, you want Mary? He's like, you sure? He's like, yeah. So uh, she takes him upstairs and points towards Mary's room. He goes in there. The boy's in there about you know, 20 minutes. And uh, comes walking out, walks down the stairs, starts to go past the madam sitting in her chair. And she's like, wait, wait. Hey, little boy, come back here. So he stops and comes up to the lady and the madam. And she's like, can I ask you a question? He's like, sure. And uh, so she says, you come in here dragging a, a dead frog and you ask me for a hooker. Well, not only that, you wanted a, a, a hooker with diseases. Can you tell me why? He's like, yeah, it's easy. After I leave here, I'm going to go home. My babysitter's probably going to fool around with me. And then my mom and dad are going to come home, and my dad's probably going to take the babysitter home. And he's most certainly going to fool around with her on the way home, taking her home. So then he's going to come home, and he's going to fool around with my mom. And I know my mom's banging the milkman, and that's the motherfucker that ran over my frog. 